In the past month, we've seen some groundbreaking advancements in AI that are pushing the boundaries of technology. A new AI model can now create videos that seem even more lifelike than reality itself. Claude 3.5 has emerged as a serious competitor to OpenAI's GPT-4, and Google DeepMind has made significant strides with its AI brain research, delving into the complexities of human cognition. Meanwhile, Elon Musk's XAI has introduced its Socrates model, and there's fresh news about GPT-5, along with notable developments from Apple and Meta in the AI arena. Apple's integration of ChatGPT has stirred quite a reaction from Elon Musk. The company has claimed to have built the framework for AGI, and Google DeepMind has unveiled its V2A model. Additionally, a new free Sora AI competitor called Kling has arrived, and Dot is quickly becoming the go-to AI companion for gamers with its release as the first-ever gaming AI assistant. OpenAI is ambitiously exploring the use of nuclear energy to power superhuman AI, though they face significant hurdles. We're covering all these exciting updates and more, so let's dive right in. If you've been keeping up with the latest AI news, you're probably eagerly awaiting OpenAI's release of their new Sora model. But while we've been waiting, a Chinese company called Qshou has dropped a game-changing AI model named Kling. This new model is making waves with its capabilities, often surpassing expectations. Kling, developed by Qshou, known for their popular app Qiyu, is a video generation model that rivals Sora and in some aspects may even outshine it. What sets Kling apart is its open access nature, allowing more users to explore its potential. Imagine inputting a simple prompt like a Chinese man sitting at a table eating noodles with chopsticks, and Kling generates a video that's so realistic it's almost indistinguishable from real life. This is a significant leap forward from previous models, such as the infamous video of Will Smith eating noodles, which seemed more like a horror movie. Kling can generate videos up to two minutes long in full 1080p at 30 frames per second. Its diffusion transformer architecture helps translate rich textual prompts into vivid, realistic scenes, while its proprietary 3D Vi variational autoencoder supports various aspect ratios through variable resolution training. This means it can produce high quality videos across different dimensions. One of Kling's standout features is its advanced 3D face and body reconstruction technology. It can create videos where characters exhibit full expressions and natural limb movements from just a single full body photo. This technology contributes to the lifelike appearance and consistency of the generated videos. China's rapid advancement in AI is becoming evident with Kling, hinting that they might be leading the charge in AI development. Although OpenAI has announced a release of Sora by year-end, Kling's early arrival puts the pressure on OpenAI to accelerate its release. Currently, Kling is accessible via the Qiyu app, but it requires a Chinese phone number, limiting its global availability for now. Kling isn't the first AI video generation model from China. Earlier in April, Kusho released VDU AI, capable of generating 16-second videos in 1080p. Kling represents the next evolution, offering longer and higher quality videos. Demo videos from Kling showcase its ability to handle complex scenes, such as an emperor angel fish swimming in a rocky underwater habitat, or a Lego character visiting an art gallery. The AI can simulate real world physics, like milk pouring into a cup, and generate videos with temporal consistency, ensuring logical flow over extended durations. Overall, Kling highlights China's growing prowess in AI video generation, potentially setting the stage for a competitive race in AI development. With OpenAI's response to Kling likely imminent, the landscape of AI technology is set for even more exciting developments. In other news, OpenAI has reactivated its robotics team after a three-year hiatus. With AI-driven robotics investments on the rise, OpenAI is now hiring research engineers to focus on training multimodal models and optimizing core technologies. This move suggests a strategic shift towards integrating AI with robotics, hinting at a promising future for AI-powered robotics. Anthropic has just unveiled Claude 3.5 Sonnet, their latest AI model that's making waves for its impressive performance, especially in comparison to OpenAI's GPT-4. This new model comes with some exciting features that set it apart, such as enhanced humor comprehension, better handling of complex workflows, and improved interpretation of charts and graphs. 
So what's the scoop with Claude 3.5 Sonet? It's Anthropic's newest addition to their lineup. Following a quirky naming convention where Howe represents their smallest model, Sonet is mid-tier, and Opus is top of the line. Despite its odd naming system, Claude 3.5 Sonet is generating buzz for its ability to compete with heavyweights like OpenAI's GPT-4 and Google's Gemini 1.5. According to Anthropic, Claude 3.5 Sonet is faster and more capable than its predecessor, Claude 3 Opus. In benchmarks, it has outperformed GPT-4, Gemini 1.5 Pro, and Meta's El Llama 3400B in areas like graduate-level reasoning and coding. However, it's worth noting that benchmark scores can be selective, and the AI landscape evolves quickly, so real-world performance is what really counts. Claude 3.5 Sonet brings some cool new capabilities to the table. It's better at code writing and translation, handling multi-step workflows, and interpreting visual data. Plus, its enhanced sense of humor and more human-like writing style could make interactions feel more natural. It can also transcribe text from images with high accuracy, a handy feature for digitizing documents or improving accessibility. If you're eager to try Claude 3.5 Sonet, you're in luck. It's available for free on Claude's website and the iOS app. Subscribers to Claude Pro or team plans get higher usage limits, and developers can access it through Anthropic's API, Amazon Bedrock, or Google Cloud's Vertex AI. Pricing is quite competitive, with $3 per million input tokens and $15 per million output tokens. The model's 200K token context window allows it to handle large amounts of data effectively, which is great for big projects. Anthropic is also introducing a feature called Artifacts, allowing users to see and interact with the results of their requests directly in the app. This could make working with AI more integrated and user-friendly, moving beyond simple chat interactions. Looking ahead, Anthropic plans to roll out more models, including Claude 3.5 Haiku and Claude 3.5 Opus. They're also developing features like memory to personalize interactions and exploring new business use cases. With a focus on improving the balance between intelligence, speed, and cost, Anthropic is positioning itself strongly in the AI market. What do you think of Claude 3.5 Sonet? Are you excited to test it out and see how it stacks up against other AI models? Researchers from Harvard University and Google DeepMind have achieved a groundbreaking milestone. They've created an artificial brain for a virtual rat that can control its movements in an incredibly realistic physics simulation. This pioneering work, published in the esteemed journal Nature, opens up immense possibilities for understanding real brain function and controlling complex behaviors, and it could pave the way for more advanced and adaptable robots in the future. Here's a closer look at what the Harvard and DeepMind team has accomplished and why it's such a game changer. Building the Virtual Rat The first monumental task was constructing an accurate virtual rat brain biomechanical model within a sophisticated physics simulator called Muhoko. This virtual rat had to adhere to the laws of physics, including factors like gravity, friction, and the musculoskeletal mechanics of a real rat. The team utilized a vast data set of high-resolution motion data from real rats engaging in various natural behaviors to create and validate this virtual rodent model. Crafting the Artificial Neural Network With the anatomical model in place, the next step was to develop an artificial neural network capable of controlling the virtual body's biomechanics and replicating the diverse movements seen in biological data. This is where DeepMind's expertise in machine learning came into play. By applying advanced deep reinforcement learning techniques and using inverse dynamics modeling, a method theorized to mirror how our brains control complex movements. The neural network learned to output precise patterns of forces to actuate the virtual rat's joints and muscles, unveiling the neural network's capabilities. Remarkably, the neural network was able to generalize its learning to produce realistic rat behaviors and movements not explicitly trained on. The mirroring the way biological brains transition between different operational regimes for various behaviors like grooming, running, or rearing. The network also handled redundancy by implementing a minimal intervention strategy, optimizing force and energy expenditure similar to biological motor systems. Insights into Neural Coding 
by analyzing how variability in neural activations mapped to movement deviations, researchers uncovered structured patterns of neural fluctuations, offering insights into neural coding strategies used by the brain. The fully observable and controllable virtual system allowed for unprecedented access to neural mechanisms behind overt actions and covert cognitive processes. New Paradigm for Neuroscience This virtual rat brain opens a new frontier in neuroscience, providing a sandbox for testing theories about neural circuits and computational processes. It allows for controlled experiments and causal manipulations that are challenging to achieve with biological specimens alone. The model could also simulate neurological conditions or injuries, offering a powerful tool for understanding brain disorders and testing therapies. Revolutionizing Robotics Beyond neuroscience, this advancement has the potential to transform robotics. By studying how the virtual rat brain coordinates its biomechanics, roboticists might abstract core principles of biological intelligence to create robots that adapt their control strategies in response to their environments, optimize force and energy expenditure, and maintain robust operation despite failures. Connection to Nuclear Fusion Interestingly, this innovation links to nuclear fusion simulation. Google DeepMind's Torax Simulator, developed for studying complex plasma physics in fusion reactors, uses advanced machine learning frameworks similar to those employed in the virtual rat brain. Torax combines high-fidelity physics modeling with state-of-the-art machine learning to address complex systems analysis, paralleling the approach that enabled the virtual rat brain breakthrough. This new era of simulation holds exciting possibilities and raises important ethical questions about replicating conscious minds and managing existential risks. Google has just unveiled a groundbreaking update to their video generation model, VO, part of their DeepMind project. This model can now create video clips from a single reference image. You provide a picture and some text instructions, and VO will generate a whole video clip based on that. For instance, they demonstrated it with an image of a woman's hands holding a large amethyst crystal. The new model produced a video clip that was not only animated, but also maintained the original style with no glitches or loss of quality. It's incredibly realistic, perhaps a bit too realistic. Another example featured an elderly woman in a straw hat sitting beside a brown and white dog. The video prompt was, a woman gazes lovingly at her loyal dog and the result was stunning in capturing the essence and details from just one image. Additionally, Google introduced a video FX update, allowing developers to create full HD videos from text prompts using VOA. This could be a game changer for artists, content creators, and developers alike. On another front, Google has added a new Gemini AI button to several Google Suite apps like Gmail and Docs. This feature lets you ask questions, write emails, and get document summaries. However, it's still in development, so we're not sure when it will be fully available. But it's not all smooth sailing. Google's AI overviews in search have faced some backlash. Users have noticed odd and inaccurate summaries, like the infamous, how many rocks should I eat, which raised concerns. Google has responded by rolling back the feature, improving detection of nonsensical queries, and refining their handling of user-generated content. They're also adding more safeguards for sensitive topics. Moving on, let's talk about Elon Musk's AI company, XAI. They're rolling out new modes for their Grok AI chatbot, Socrates and DEI. DEI stands for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, and it focuses on handling responses with sensitivity and inclusivity. Socrates mode, still in development, might encourage deeper and more meaningful conversations. This expansion is intriguing especially with Musk's tendency to stir the pot. Eleven Labs, known for their AI-generated human voices and music, has launched a new sound effects AI tool. It lets you create custom sound effects just by typing a prompt, offering up to 22 seconds of audio with multiple options to choose from. This tool is free for non-commercial use, but has paid tiers for commercial projects. It's designed to make sound creation quick and easy. Finally, researchers at Cambridge University have developed a fascinating invention, a robotic third thumb. It's a mechanical digit controlled by your toes, and it's surprisingly easy to use. 
Tested by people aged 3 to 96, it's shown to be highly accessible and could be beneficial for various tasks, including aiding those missing a finger. The future of this technology is being shaped now, and we all have a role in guiding its development responsibly. Thanks for watching and keep exploring the future of AI with WIN.